Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Now this particular Mach 1 is a premium model. It's finished in eruption green metallic, which is a new color for 2022. This also does have the Mach 1 handling package. This does give it a unique wheel, front splitter, as well as the rear spoiler. But starting up front, we do have these full LED headlights, which is standard on Mustang as well as your turn signal down there. And we get a Mach 1 unique front bumper with the lower spoiler as well as the grill. We also get a unique hood graphic with the Mach 1 logo right in the top. And part of the Mach 1 handling package, you do have these 19 inch uh, aluminum wheels. It's a gray painted wheel. It's on a 30 tire. It's a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tire, so it's a summer only race tire. There's your Mach 1 badge there in the side, as well as your gray mirror housing with the turn signal in there as well. You also do have the blind spot information system in the mirror. And we'll give you a look at the window sticker on this particular Mach 1. So you do have the Mach 1 Premium. And there's your 700A package with the Mach 1 handling package. Brings the MSRP to just under 85,000 Canadian dollars. We also do get a unique stripe on the lower door. And here's a look at the rear tire, slightly wider at a 315. It's a 19 by 11 wheel. And we do get the unique Spoiler with the gurney flap. Again, part of that Mach 1 handling package. Similar to the wing on the GT500. And speaking of GT500, we do have the rear diffuser straight off of the GT500, as well as the exhaust. So we do have a larger quad tip exhaust, as well as the uh, unique design there. We get a Mach 1 logo right on the back, as well as the uh, LED taillights with the sequential turn. Now stepping inside of this Mach 1 Mustang, we do have an intelligent access door handle. And starting here on the door panel, you do have your power window controls with your power mirrors and your power locks. Nice soft touch leather here on the, on the armrest, <clears throat> as well as some nice white accent stitching there as well. You get a beautiful Mach 1 sill plate there. And to the left of the steering wheel, you have your automatic headlight control, a little hidden storage cubby here, and your trunk release. We do have the optional Recaro bucket seats. You can option in the regular bucket seats, but these do have the Recaros. They are fully manually operated. Stepping inside. Now all Mach 1 Mustangs do get Ford's intelligent access key fob. Um, we do have the trunk release on there as well. And push button start is also standard. Starting here on this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Again, that is with the Mach 1 Premium. We do get a heated steering wheel. We do have a, uh, your volume controls as well as your cruise control. Controls for your fully digital MyColor gauge cluster, as well as some of your uh, uh, performance and your uh, phone buttons there as well. Now we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. You have your trip information. We can view uh, trips one and two, as well as your fuel economy status and your tire pressure, or we can click this pony button, and we can go through different performance uh, settings. We have our my mode, we also have the exhaust mode. So we can go through, we have normal, quiet, sport, and track. We can also set a quiet start. We have track apps, so we can set an acceleration timer, brake performance, line lock, lap timer. We also do have a shift light for the six speed manual transmission. We have a launch control feature. RPMs go from 3,000 to 5,500, as well as active rev matching with that six-speed manual. We also have gauges, so we can go in here and view the gauge detail, which will give you all types of measurements and temperatures. We have a G performance meter there as well. And if we go back, we can set the my color, so we can actually change the color of the gauge cluster. It will also uh, also change the color of the gauges 
on the uh, dash here as well. We can also set the secondary color, which is the color around the gauges, as well as the ambient light, which is here in the cup holders, underneath the floor and in the door handles. We can also make our own color, which is neat, and then we can change the cluster appearance, uh, which we'll, uh, we'll talk about later with the drive modes. And if we click this setting button here, we can view different settings. We have trip and fuel. This is how you get back to your trip and fuel. We also have driver assistance, blind spot, pre-collision assist, cross traffic alert, your hill start assist, lane keep system, lots of stuff in there, more advanced settings in there. And then moving into the middle, we do have Ford Sync 4 8 inch touchscreen display. This is standard on the Mach 1 Mustang. We're on the home screen where we can view our navigation, both our audio and our phone. Or we can go into here, we can change our sources. We do have Sirius XM or Bluetooth. We also have a digital version of the climate control. There's also physical buttons down here if you prefer that. If you, uh, prefer that. We have our add a phone, so you can add a phone here. We have built-in navigation, as well as various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And other various settings in here as well. You have your sound settings, general settings, your vehicle settings, Ford Pass Connect. And moving down, we do have the dual zone automatic climate control. Now, because we have the Recaro seats, we do lose the heated and cooled function. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. If you want to have the heated and cooled function, you have the option in the regular bucket seats. We have our hazard light, trash control, as well as steering modes. So we can cycle through different steering modes. We have sport, comfort, and normal, as well as the drive modes. So we can cycle through drive modes, normal, sport plus track, drag strip, and snow and wet. And it will automatically change the gauge cluster for that specific drive mode. So if I put it into track, it will change the gauge cluster for that specific drive mode. And again, we do have the six-speed manual transmission. This is a Tremec 3160. Uh, it's six-speed manual. This is straight out of the GT350. This is totally different unit from your standard Mustang. It's very short throw, very notchy. It's a very, it's a fantastic transmission. Uh, you can option the 10-speed automatic if you would like. And we do have the auxiliary gauge pack here with your oil pressure and your vacuum. We get a unique Mach 1 logo up there. Each Mach 1 is numbered. Chassis numbers, you get each for each year. So this one is N, so it's 273. Now moving top here, we do have the Bang & Olufsen premium sound system, which is included with the Mach 1 Elite package, which this Mach 1 does have. Now stepping into the back seat, uh, the Mach 1 does have a back seat, unlike some of the GT500s, uh, but you can fit four people in this, which is, so, you know, it gives more practicality. Although the back seats are not particularly large, um, you can fit four people if you need to. But coming around to the trunk area, we do have the popper underneath there, or we can use the button inside the cabin or the key fob. We do have the subwoofer for the Bang & Olufsen sound system right there. And we do get lots of space back here in the back of the Mach 1 Mustang. So if you're interested in this particular Mach 1 Mustang, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. Feel free to give us a call or visit McPhee Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.